criticised the attitude and professionalism of his Sunderland players following their defeat at Tottenham. Bill Barsley was dropped from the squad after he was pictured lying on a pile of £50 notes at a casino earlier this week after Sunderland has secured their Premier League status. And Di Canio says he wishes he could issue heavier punishments to his players. He's out from my squad, it's obvious uh, how I can play uh, a player that uh, probably is, uh, is blurry for three, four days after what's happened. It's disgusting me even to see this image for the club. It's not about I went out with my friend, get back home at three o'clock, two o'clock, which is late anyway for me, but you can close one eye. If we don't punish this kind of behavior, how they grew up thinking, ah, laugh about what they saw in the website, the picture, and maybe they think it's fantastic, be like, you know, a gangster, uh, that's a... Uh, what's the mentality we're going to deliver? It? This week, seven fine. And this morning, and this morning, once again, even if uh, I didn't care about what's happened at Academy of Life, some player that couldn't involve for different reasons to my squad today, they decide I don't train today. They make the diagnosis. No, the diagnosis that said one player didn't go to Academy of Lies because he said yesterday I had a poison food. I was waiting them in the corridor. Three, four players arrived by walking. By no, I can imagine you late. You know you run. Sorry. This is the situation at Sunday. This is why I tell you we made a miracle. We made a miracle previously. Eight games, three points. With the Canyon, seven games, eight points. That is the miracle we made. From a Chelsea boss.